There are many wonderful man-made creations out there. However, isn't it incredible that man has been able to make a machine that can lift off the ground and safely land as well? Once, this would have been laughed at as ludicrous. From the Airbus A390 plane to the Boeing 747-8, here are 15 abnormally large airplanes that actually exist. Number 15. The Airbus A390 Plane Flying through the sky may seem implausible. Humans should not be able to do it. But thanks to the invention of the plane, technology has made us equal to the bird. Each and every year, planes get better and better, the technology improving and growing, and with that comes new features, safety improvements, and changes in structure. Something that seems to always be increasing as technology develops is the size of the equipment that's used to complete everyday tasks. Which brings us to the Airbus A390. Still in development, this behemoth is still in production, and so the facts are a little dubious. However, it's alleged to be able to to transport a very large amount of passengers, as much as 1,000. That's essentially a small suburb in a plane, quite a fascinating concept. Being so large, the A390 requires a very long runway and a not so long flight range, being only able to, with present calculations, fly up to 7,500 miles, although these limitations in theory exist. Still, being able to transport so many people at once allows fewer planes in the air at the same time and increases the efficiency of moving people in a world where populations are continuing to boom. More and more need for larger and innovative solutions exist. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Boeing 747A The motto for the Boeing 747 series is, Routes with high traffic volumes require high value returns, and it's made by Boeing commercial airplanes in the United States. With a reputation for consistently delivering profitability to commercially invested businesses while reducing excessive consumer spending. If this continues, we can call ourselves a flock of bird people who are constantly grouping in the sky. The Boeing 747-8 is the largest of the ground-breaking passenger airplanes in the 747 series and enables companies to take advantage of extremely successful technologies. Soon, we'll all have our own personal spaceships. Won't that be interesting? And as a side note, differencing from the A930, the Boeing 747 is not a prototype. It is designed as a large, long-haul, wide-body aircraft and cargo aircraft and can seat 400 people. This is premium shipping for operators and passengers, creating a unique opportunity to maximize profit on any route with heavy traffic. This is the best way to fly for the average consumer. Perhaps because of the novelty and cost associated with flying such a massive aircraft, it attracts cost-saving customers and airplane enthusiasts alike. What do you think of the Boeing 747? Number 13. Giant Antonov An-225 Maria the famous Antonov An-250 widebody is controlled by six turbofan engines. It is the longest and largest aircraft ever built, the length of which is the distance that some people travel on a daily basis in their lives, essentially moving entire societies in a single flight. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, you can bring all your friends and family with you too. Built to carry the Soviet spacecraft, it is still the largest aircraft in the world 27 years after it entered service.
and 250, popularly known as Maria the Dream, is not known all over the world, but it is known whenever it creates a scene. It is 84 meters long, has 88 meter wings, and weighs 185 tons. This is excluding freight and fuel. It is the longest, largest, and longest operating aircraft in the world. Its cargo section is massive and has space for 50 cars. So when you bring your friends and family, you can bring all your houses as well. And there's only one AN-225 available in the world. Who says that machines can be the personification of individualism? Number 12. The Spruce Goose Whenever humanity is put to the test, it becomes a truly intelligent species. This seems to have been the case with the infamous Spruce Goose, a really vague and hopeful idea that was only possible to push for at the time of extreme sanctions due to the restrictions of war on metal. So when this crazy and wacky plane took off and actually flew, it really divided the people like a lumberjack splits a log, as the plane was made entirely of wood. But you have to wonder how the right brothers would feel about it, being reminiscent of the days when the first prototype planes were built using similar materials. Alas, the goose only got going once in its lifetime. These tests, the first, are intended to be no more than runs on the surface. Despite its very successful first flight, the spruce goose has never been in production, being the only one of its kind, mainly because critics say its wooden frame is insufficient to support its weight during long flights. Although, I wonder if that would still be true with emerging technology and treated and hardened timbers. Perhaps the goose could give way to the great goose of the modern day. Number 11, Convair B-36 Peacemaker. Sounded like an echoing giant hornet looking for new prey, the Convair B-36 Peacemaker is the biggest fighter in history that has worn an American star. It's said that the Convair B-36 Peacemaker is a strategic bomber manufactured by Convair B-36. It set the range and payload standards for subsequent intercontinental United States bombers. The B-36 was slow, and while in the air, it was unable to refuel, but it carried out a flight mission to the target of being 5,500 kilometers away and was able to be in the air for 40 hours. In addition, the B-36 was supposedly able to fly to an amazing hovering altitude for a piston-powered aircraft, made possible by its massive wing area and six 28 cylinder engines. It was able to stay out of range of other enemy airplanes and ground based anti aircraft guns of the day. Imagine if the Convair was able to go on peacemaking missions. Do you think that, considering its flight endurance, it could have made a real difference to those less fortunate in the world during its time? Certainly an idea worth entertaining. Number 10 B 52 Strato Fortress. The B-52 Strato Fortress is a United States Air Force long-range bomber with long flight range and large payloads. Imagine getting attacked by a B-52 on a payday. It doesn't sound too lucrative. It's also known as Strato Fortress, perhaps because it's so durable that it's built to be a fortress in the sky. It is the United States' primary strategic nuclear and conventional weapons platform, a basis on which to center operations around because submarines can and should fly. The B-52 looks like a giant submarine that flies. Too bad it's not as silent. The question that comes to mind though, can it make submarine noises and what does its horn sound like? Every year we celebrate birthdays and with this in mind, the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress celebrated its 50th anniversary flight in April 2002 and is the world's longest serving fighter jet. A total of 744 were built. It is estimated that the B-52 Stratofortress should have a lifespan of up to around 2030, which means that it's going to have been in existence for half a century. Considering how quickly technology develops, that is quite a feat in engineering. Number 9. C5 Galaxy 
to get from one place to another, and you need to take everything with you, what better way to do that than with one of the largest military transports in the arsenal of the United States? Giant flying machines like these extreme transporters are the bread and butter of not only military, but also logistical transport innovations. The more you can do, the more you can store, the longer you can travel, the less double handling leads to more efficiency, use of time and fuel, and resources. This is how the future becomes sustainable, through innovation and technological breakthroughs in improving systems like transportation. The C5 Galaxy is an iconic example of that future, minus the military side of things. To reiterate, a plane that can carry a 50-ton tank, who would have ever imagined? It's worth celebrating its five decades of operation. It's amazing that these gigantic vehicles are not being shot out of the sky, being able to block the sun in the right moment. Number 8. The Antonov An-124 The development of the first An-124 aircraft began a very long time ago. This amazing piece of machinery is designed for remote delivery and ventilation of heavy and bulk cargo, including equipment and armed forces. Considered one of the greatest transporters ever, the Antonov An-124 is truly a technological masterpiece. It is the largest manufacturer of all time and can deliver a payload of 31 tons worldwide. Don't let that weigh you down, though. No other carrier can take more weight in the air than this airborne giant. Today, it's used worldwide as a backbone of international air transport travel. Every time this cargo plane lands, intensive inspection is required to keep it in top condition. After about 4,000 kilometers, a major overhaul is required to maintain standard equipment on the aircraft. Falling from the sky can be financially harmful or mortally fatal due to ignoring small details. This means that Antonov's flights need to be checked every two years. Thanks to this responsible and strict policy, Antonov can fly around the clock and will stay for a very long time. Number 7. Tupolev 2160 Blackjack the 2160 Supersonic Strategic Bomber. It is a supersonic strategic missile carrier manufactured by the Tupolev Moscow Joint Stock Company. Would you invest in this sort of aerodynamic enterprise? The aircraft operates 24 hours a day and can operate at geographical latitudes. The range of air travel is 12,300 kilometers. But here's an example of its range in a feat it was able to perform. The bomber flew across the Russian border between the Arctic and the Pacific Ocean and eventually landed on the Volga River. Quite the flight, wouldn't you say? The Tupolev circuitry affects the outer wing at supersonic and subsonic speeds, ensuring excellent flight performance. fully dynamic one-piece horizontal and vertical stability. The 2160 can reach speeds of up to 70 meters per second. That is too, too much if you ask me. This isn't the sort of machine you let casually fly overhead during wartime. The maximum speed of the bomber is 2,220 kilometers per hour. How fast do you run? For context, the average human runs at 24 kilometers per hour. The aircraft weighs about 110,000 kilograms and has a gross laden weight of 275,000 kilograms. Again, for context, the average human weighs 62 kilograms. Number 6. Airbus A380 the A380 is a modern classic with over 500,000 lucrative flights with over 190,000 passengers under its wings. The cabin is the largest and most modern airplane in the world, allowing passengers to rest on the wide seating in a relaxed atmosphere. Unless there's extreme turbulence, but yeah, that's flying for you. <laughs> 
from boarding class to economy class, this massive, luxurious cruise behemoth brings a new level of comfort to passengers. The double-decker takes full advantage of its space and gives guests extra comfort, unless, of course, the person next to you is sick. In a comfortable seat way up in the sky, travelers enjoy every part of their journey and are ready to take action to get to their destination, thanks to innovative air transportation technology. Soon, we will all have a pair of personal wings. The front and rear charging stations have semi-automatic charging mechanisms that operate independently of each other. Air traffic doubles every 15 years, so we need emerging planes like this one to accommodate that need. It is built to meet passenger and airport needs while providing the necessary efficiency to protect against the weather, whether you like it or not. Number 5. Airbus Beluga XL with technology improving every day and requirements for humanity increasing all the time, finding new ways to improve already existing and working ideas is fundamental for the future. Beluga XL is an emerging aviation technology that assists the transport capacity and secures the future of transport, assisting the continued development of commercial aviation. Soon, you'll be able to put an entire country inside an airplane and send it to another country. Then, they'll become countries and the consequences will really start to pile up. This is the first of six Beluga XLs to begin production, which means that aviation has come leaps and bounds in what it can achieve for the world. Especially when the blaring sound of roaring jets blazing through the sky enables cost-efficient transport of goods and assists the economy and general population with cheaper goods. The Beluga XL has the largest cargo bay cross-section of all existing cargo aircraft that can reach incredible distances, having the operational capacity to fly all over Europe, continuing to strengthen industrial capabilities. The Beluga XL isn't getting Europed in, though. It'll set the tone for industrial airborne transport for the world, improving the avian capabilities of the entire world for centuries. We've come a long way since toy planes, haven't we? Number 4. Super Guppy this strange and yet extremely efficient bubble and blob looking plane is a weird sight to see, to say the least, sailing through the air's currents. Oversized freight transport has long been a big problem for government and business logistics planners. The physical limits of massive objects, which cannot be altered because of the structural design of the objects, makes it a real hassle. It also makes it very difficult, if not impossible, to ship these goods by land. On September the 19th in 1962, this bizarre new plane was flown into the skies from Los Angeles. Air traffic controllers were so suspicious that the aircraft could fly at the time of its first flight launch that they told health and safety officials that they would need to be on notice. Yet Super Guppy showed that they were mistaken, and that actually the airplane was a superhero. The beetle-bodied plane, being able to take on some naysayers, not only flew well, but found some flair in the process. A courageous former Air Force pilot named Jack Conroy flew safely and opened this uniquely tailored aircraft without a hitch. And a new age in air travel began, headed by the Guppy family of aircraft. You just have to ask what they're fueling this gorgeous aircraft with. Number 3. Dornier Du X the Dornier Du X was the world's largest and heaviest seaplane, with a wingspan of 157 feet and a maximum takeoff weight of over 61 tons. Quite incredible that this was even possible almost a hundred years ago. In 1931, it flew from Germany to New York, an incredible feat for an aircraft built so long ago. The plane was powered by 12 engines and could carry 169 passengers, and the captain had to control the throttle from the cockpit to make turns. 
and needed passengers to assist in sharp turns, making it a real team effort. The aircraft was intended to stoke interest in civilian air travel, but apart from two additional models built for the Italian state airline Santa, unfortunately, the Leviathan of the Sky failed to take off commercially. It is still an awesome feat for the technological sophistication of the age. The Dornier is one of only two surviving examples of the aircraft still in existence today, the other being flown in the 1970s by a private passenger jet operated in the United Kingdom. There are a lot of great things that come in pairs, and the Dornier Do X is one of them. Number 2. Douglas XB-19 the Douglas XB-19 was the largest aircraft in the world when it first flew in 1941. It was the first bomber to be fitted with a tricycle landing gear and power-boosted controls. A tricycle that can fly around and blow stuff up. The US government paid $1.4 million for this, and Douglas invested nearly $4 million in business money to complete it, leaving craters in their enemies' pockets. Pulling the props before starting the engines involved the joint efforts of six men, two of them pulling on each of them, requiring a high level of skill from the individuals. It'd be hard to pull off with bad knees, though. The Douglas XB-19 was the largest airplane in the world when it first flew in 1941. These illustrations of the XB-19 appeared in magazines in the 1940s. Could you imagine being a kid reading about an airplane this big in the early 1900s? The Douglas XB-19 was intended to carry a 36,000 pound bomb load for up to 2,000 miles. That would strike fear into any enemy, knowing that certain doom could appear at any minute. Number 1. Airbus A330 this leads us to the great and wonderful Airbus A330. What it lacks in finesse, it makes up for in size, power, and engineering pioneering. The last on the long list of airplanes is the big brand in the industry with the big name, and the massive plane. The Airbus A330neo benefits from continuous investment of over 150 million euro every year, showcasing the level of commitment the companies have to push for new emerging technologies in the world. If they get too caught up, however, it may just glide away from them. New materials have also been used across the wing, including titanium pylon and composite nacelle, which is pretty cool. Could you imagine how much more awesome airplanes will be in the next hundred years with all the new types of materials being developed and refined? All these features combined ensures that the A330neo has the lowest seed mile cost of any mid-sized widebody and burns 25% less fuel. Will airplanes even be called airplanes a hundred years from now? I wonder what the next generation of technology will bring us. Would you take a ride on the Airbus A330? Are you excited to see what comes next in the industry of interesting airplanes? What did you think of our 15 abnormally large airplanes that actually exist? Would you ever want to fly one of them? Know of any other awesome airplanes out there? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!